absolutely magnificent <laughs> doesn't always happen well always I, then, happen. you know that's that's what makes us wonderful right it's that from the inside kind of thing that's what <laughs> makes it better for all of us exactly so how did you kind of want to do this today well you had a good list of questions so i'm I, happily I that we nut out what you because i read them and i thought hey that's a good idea let's do that yeah cool so that'll work out um, questions you know it's funny and I, I did my little video on the your i had my little had to share with when you're trying to manifest your specific someone i had to kind of put my what if it doesn't work scenario and i'm glad we're talking about it but i had to get mine out there um yeah but that's i think i've been getting so i mean literally it's been coming up with everybody i gotta remember yeah to look there. Uh, it, but everybody's been talking about it so i'm, I'm hoping yeah. we can get into that one um yeah and, yeah so how do you just want to do the questions kind of in order or what sure sure uh, yeah that's I fine love and you know this is still the number one hot topic on youtube for me i know you've been doing still, a lot of still 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 i'd like to you know i'm really happy to talk about other subjects but it is <laughs> the one that people are youtube searching for all the time it's still this one so i think look you know if people want to keep hearing a bit about it then I'm, you know, you and I, I'm sure are happy to discuss it. I, I would have thought people would want to talk about other things, but Hey, just go with what's going. <laughs> right. If that, if that's the question of the day, then I guess that's what we need to yep. talk about. So I agree with exactly. you. Exactly. Uh, and yeah, yeah, you've been doing a, a bunch of stuff in line with that. Um, so I guess I have. the big question I think, and I'm probably taking these out of order, but I think it's a good place to start is, does, are we when we are doing this imaginal work and if it's for someone that's maybe not interested or whatever like are are we taking these people's power from them are we like by my imaginal work am i making someone a zombie and they're gonna magically fall in love with me you know even though they're maybe in another relationship or am i is it like I don't know. Give me your thoughts. I don't want to go off on some crazy tangent, but I mean. Yeah, no, it's a good question. I think when you do your imagining and then you project something onto somebody, you are creating something for you. Now, the other person, and this is why, you know, I don't agree with people saying it's manipulative or it's witchcraft or you're controlling or you're interfering or whatever. The other person still has to agree and receive what you have sent. So you just line up with what you want. You project it out. Um, as long as you're not turning into a stalker, which, you know, I do get a lot of emails from people that, you know, call people 50 times in a day and check people's social media, you know, I don't advise that. And if you're in a, so if you're in a doing the self love stuff, you know that that stuff is not in line with radiating love out to someone or being really using the law of attraction and the law of projection in its sensible form. And I, that's, that was kind of what I was talking about with my video uh, today was there are times where I think we are so dead set on manifesting something that maybe ended for a reason. Like I think there's those steps we take in life. Like we've talked about, I think on the last time even we talked uh, that when you're trying to manifest even maybe a, a bigger house and a lot of other things there, there can be things that come along with that. And relationships are kind of similar. Like there's, mm. As we get older and older, I think there's just an implied baggage because people in general have their past. All of us mm -hmm. do. And you, you drag mm. some of that with you no matter where you're at. And mm. I, I, I think there's, I, I think sometimes relationships shouldn't continue for the best of both parties. And, and I wonder, I guess, how if we try to force our manifestation like i want susie so badly but like mm, i was horrible mm. to susie right like that should yeah i think of those are the like i tried to talk about that today those are sort of the scenarios where I, I worry that people maybe are trying to manifest something and getting frustrated that it's not working yeah so what do you i mean do you have thoughts on that or well yeah yeah, yeah. no i i think you know i think it's a good point i do see there's a big difference between attraction and addiction and 
sometimes when people want a specific person, I see a lot of addiction. I see a lot of, I still need you to love me so that I can feel good. So if you do a lot of the self-love work, eventually what happens is your addiction to the person, which really is I want to get love from the outside because basically I'm too lazy to do it myself. And I know that's going to start sound a bit hardcore, but it is I don't want to spend the time loving myself. I'm just going to get you to do it. And in the end, the person feels that and runs away because they don't, they've got their own job of loving themselves and then they don't want another job of loving you on top of it. Well, that's that equal energy thing mm. again, right? I mean, don't you, you kind of attract what the, uh, the energy is that you're putting out there, right? So if, yeah. if you're not energetically ready for where this person is, it's really yeah. hard to get to that place that, that, that you're wanting mm. to get to. I mean, they're, I mean, you still have two human bodies trying to meet. Uh, it's, yep. Yeah, and, but you always get whatever you project about them. So if you're projecting, um, if you're chasing, like you're not radiating love and you are still in the chasing mode, energetically chasing, the person, because it's, you know, you project I need and then they run away, until you get the real, real essence of self-love has to be first and I'm radiating and giving to them. I'm not trying to take from them because a lot of this stuff with self-specific people, I still, still feel from many, many, many people, it's that I'm doing the self-love, but I'm still trying to take from them. And when that happens, the people don't come back because energetically they feel it and they're a vibrational match to you you're in need so need then repels and they run away and they don't give you love so you have to really do the foundation work really you've got to do more than probably i would say you've got to do 75 percent self-love stuff and 25 percent specific person stuff and also you've got to ask yourself if i want a specific person am i really still just trying to get love from them. And you've got to be honest with yourself about that. And usually the evidence will tell you anyway, if the person's nowhere near you, they've blocked you on, on whatever platform they've told you, I don't like you, please leave me alone. That's a good indicator that your need and your longing and your desperation, because it does tip into that level of, you know, that level of need. No one wants to be around that. So they run. Yeah, and I, you, then you feel the absence of them and then you feel a lot of pain and then you live in that pain when you really don't have to. You can do the self-love and get yourself back up. Sometimes, obviously, as we know, a broken heart takes time to repair. But the sooner and the quicker you can do the self-love and do the, um, use that time to, to really focus, I'm going to give love to me and I'm going to let them off the hook from trying to get them to do it because you're really dealing with what they call in 12 step fellowships, love addiction. And there are many, many groups, 12 step groups. There's a uh, love and sex addicts anonymous group that people go to, to share about this stuff. So you can be around people that are trying to recover from it, but also you got to address within yourself. I have got, it's like a spiritual disease. If you are so, so desperate seeking a specific person relentlessly, it's fine if you're doing it from a distance, you're doing your own work, you're allowing them to not like you or allowing them to just be and say, you know what, what is it in me? Like this whole thing about everyone's you pushed out. What is it in me that has created you to act that way towards me? And if, you, and if it's an absence then you've got to dissolve that within you. So, I agree. I, I yeah. think we get, we get very addicted to relationships. Uh, and, yeah. I, and the ones that I think are very vocal about, hey, uh, why, are, why aren't we getting back together? Why isn't it happening quicker? Why, yeah. why this? Why that? Why? These are the people. It's like I want to <laughs> cite because manifestation <laughs> techniques work perfectly. Yeah. But I know, right? The, anyway. The, the, but they work perfectly, and I think trying to use them in a way that's not within your life purpose, your life path, not within self-love. And by the way, that's yeah. like I didn't even offer that question, but I think without a doubt we're going there next because I think yeah. that 
I'm curious in two ways on the self love thing. Um, and, and hey, let's go there now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to the case of self love, uh, how do you bring that up? Because it seems sometimes it's good to remind people of the basics. And, and mm. I think frequently we need to do that. And that's kind of where I've been trying to balance shows, right? I got time for X number of shows, it seems. <laughs> how, do I, how do I balance in the good stuff? You know, manifestation, teach some really cool techniques yeah. that, that people can use and learn and love. But also on top of that, like you said, 20% self-love, which, you know, four times a week, I'm a little shy. But are over maybe. But um, yeah, how do we get to that point where you're reminding people, here's the self love, and we don't lose them because most people want the thing right now. They want to experience mm. it. They want they want the gratification. Well, yeah, and that's how they get in the door. Like they come and like you know, with a lot of the viewers from my YouTube channel, they look up how do I attract a specific person? And yes, I've done about three or four meditations on that, so they go to that. And then they go, okay, then I usually get some kind of comment or an email saying, look, I've been doing this for like a month. Nothing's happening. It's like, okay, so what are you doing? What are you expecting? Right. What are you, you know, you're doing, are you doing any self-love for you? Because if you just hop to, this is the thing that people often do when they first come to this specific person subject is they hop straight to, oh, I'm going to manifest a specific person and they try and send love to that person rather than filling themselves up, feeling love for themselves, and then sending love. That specific person will know if you love them more than you love yourself, and that's when they don't come back. In my experience and watching the mechanics of people do this over the years, whether it's a man or a woman you're trying to manifest, if they have been around you and then they finally ran away from you because you emotionally freaked them out, because <laughs> that's what, what you've done, you've emotionally right. tried to take so much and they are exhausted and they're angry usually and they've left you hostile because that's when people block you and do all that stuff. It's that you've drained them energetically. You've vampired them of take. You've take, 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 take. And they got sick of it because you weren't an adult and you weren't there to give love. You were there to take it. So I've totally forgotten my point. No, but the point that, well, no, you've, you've led us to, (laughs) you've led us to the perfect place. Uh, I I think, and this might even be like where we cut, you know, to the next one for who knows. But, um, the, the whole point is, okay, so I get out of a relationship and there's maybe there's reasons why that relationship failed, why that wasn't working, why we were having problems that we were having. So yeah. I, I finally come to terms. I finally accept, like you were saying, 12 steps, you know, they're going through the phases or wherever you're at in this whole process. Yeah. Like I finally accept that. Yeah, I was, I was a jerk. I, mean, I was a jerk hold of this person and I loved her, but nah, I was very controlling or it's very this or it's very that. Okay, great. Now. Awesome. I've come to that knowledge. So when these people are, are asking, okay, so how do I pursue self-love? Yeah, I get there's meditations. That's, that's fun. But like daily basis, give me some steps. Give me a couple thoughts on uh, how you know, to do that. Yeah. First couple yeah. thoughts. Yeah. Well, you know, to, and I'll use, I'll use myself in, as an example because I still do this stuff today. Uh, and it is the backbone of everything that I do you know, even before sharing it with other people, I have to practice what I'm talking about. So every day, you know, I wake up whenever I wake up and I put on like um, an ambient music, Wayne Dyer meditation. It's just music. At all. There's nothing. And then I can overlay what I want to do. So in the first 20 minutes, I just do, I love you to myself and I radiate love from my heart to every part of my body. It's good for my health. It's good for my mental state. And it unhooks me from at whatever point in the day, looking for love from someone else, you know, whenever or however. So it, it it gets me ready. So I do that. There's two parts to that meditation, 40 minutes a day in the morning, go for a walk to do some exercise for about an hour, an hour and 15 affirmations. I'm loved. I'm wanted. I'm secure. I am deserving, I am worthy, I am um, supported, I am attractive, I am free. Those meditations for the entire hour and a half while walking. So reinforcing what I am, not what I'm not. So doing that then um, throughout the day, at some point listening to a YouTube or two, Neville Goddard or Louise Hay or 
Abraham Hicks. As we know, there's a whole toolbox of fantastic people yeah. listening to something positive and putting that in. And then during the evening, again, a 40 minute to one hour meditation, again, emphasizing the self love. So when you add all that up, it's about three hours a day. People go three hours. I haven't got three right. hours. Well, maybe you don't. I mean, I, I do, you know, coaching people. So I've got lots of pockets during the day where I can do that. When I was working, I was still doing three hours a day because I was suffering from a heartbreak. And I thought I've got to correct this within myself. So I get home from work. I'd shut the door. I lived alone and I would spend my evenings with the TV off and I would do exactly the things I've just told you. So even when I was working five days a week, I made it a priority because I knew I had to correct that I'm unloved or I just don't feel good in whatever, you know, whatever way there was always some, I don't feel good feeling. So it was learning and practicing to change that not good feeling into I am loved. And it's like, that is still the backbone and the steps, you know, cause you ask for steps and I think steps yeah, are the mechanics yeah. of step by step by step. So that's how I do it. And that's what really, really works for me. And I do feel good a lot of the time. Do I feel good all the time? No. So, and that's, I think a really important part to remind people is we don't feel perfect 100% of the time either. No. I mean, that's, no. that's a, a big, big part of manifesting things is, yeah, I'm, I'm a human and like you. So in the morning I might, I might spend a, a few minutes in the shower while I'm meditating, putting some yep. uh, mental energies towards it. Uh, yep. I might, uh, I take a short nap in the middle of the day at lunch yep. in my car and I do it uh, yep. while I fall asleep there. And then before I go to bed every night, I do some solid imaginal work. I, and I'm, I'm going bare bones minimum and I'm just having fun. I'm kind of testing it right now. And yep. I will tell you, I am seeing a lot of things happen just with that amount so it's not mm. you can do it like Anya says uh, you're doing it perfectly so you're like the advanced person I'm like <laughs> I'm like um maybe beginner nah, the intermediate person so you can do it yeah. a little less than that if you want if you got mm. just a little time before you go to bed then spend a little time before you go to bed and you're too busy in the shower because exactly you know x y and z or z sorry yeah uh, it, but it's but, true yeah. you pick your you pick your pockets you know Pockets yeah. during the day, 10 minutes here, 15 minutes here, like you do at lunchtime in the car. You know, people often just go and have a cigarette and a cup of coffee and then start worrying about stuff. I miss those like days, if that counts. <laughs> those were good days. Those were very good days. Oh, yes. But geez. anyway, I digress. Yeah. Yeah, we all had our thing, didn't we? But yeah, oh, yeah. Um, you know, we were also probably not as... Uh, I would say happy deliberately than we are today. I agree. So it is a it. deliberate, it's deliberate. You don't just randomly end up happy. It's a deliberate mental re habitual thought patterns that get you there. Let me ask you something kind of off topic completely, but I, th I still think it's germane because someone had asked and, uh, and I sort of speculated recently about what really got you into this whole path, this whole lifestyle, this yep. whole thing. Was it the law of attraction? Was it, manifesting or was it more of kind of like a spiritual awakening kind of, um, I don't know. What it do you was, feel about? no, I, I'm happy to talk about it. I had, um, in my, I was 1920 and I had moved from Canada cause my parents were living in Canada on Vancouver Island then. And my boyfriend at the time, we were together four years and I had moved to Australia. My parents forced me to move before I turned 18 so that obviously I wouldn't stay in Canada. And he decided to do the horizontal cha-cha with my girlfriend while I was away. So that was my first hit with a brick in the back of the head without seeing <laughs> that coming. Right. Um, so that was the first hit. And then the second hit was the second boyfriend I'd had for seven years decides to get a female flatmate and then he starts seeing her behind my back. So I thought, what's going on here? Why do I keep picking? You know, at first I was still thinking I'm just picking the wrong men. Then the third one I married who was Australian and then he um, had sex with a man. Oh, well, you're, 
you were transitioning, you know, make it sound like this is the same pattern. I mean, look at that. You were, you were taking it to the next level. That was beautiful. Exactly. Uh, and then he sport. decided to go and visit. He was reading books on, on bondage. So he goes to visit this bondage mistress in New Zealand. Um, and I was just like, how the hell is this happening for the third time? Can we start a different so channel to totally, <laughs> this is, oh, this is awesome. Oh, like when I look back, honestly, it is just so damn funny. It wasn't funny at the time. No, but uh, yeah, no, and I also, now so I totally now get know. why I like you so much. I'm like, this is it. That's, that's why Anya's is the bomb. Hello. Anyway. Yeah. So yeah. So that kind of hit me three times. The third one I was married to when he went off to New Zealand to do his bondage thing. So, um, With so obviously that no. kind of ended the marriage well, yeah, and yeah. then, um, my fourth partner, by now I'm in my, I think, 30s, if I remember correctly. And, you know, we dated for a while and then I went overseas and then I came back and I found these really long black socks in the bedroom and I thought, well, they're definitely not his. Yeah. So I knew something was going on. And then partner number five, each relationship was four to five years. So there was nice. quite a lot of invested. Partner number five, um, he told me he was going overseas to have a holiday with his family and he sent me an email and I thought we were still together, but he decided to tell me that he'd got married and his wife was pregnant. Well, and when he left, we were still, <laughs> excuse me. He, he went on, he went on vacation and, yeah. and ended up married. Yeah. Okay. Well that's, so, that's time off well spent. I mean, you, yeah. you know, wow. So, okay. you know, you kind of at some point go, hang on, Maybe, yeah. hang on. Me. Yeah. Hang on a minute. <laughs> yeah. Wait up. Something's yeah. holding as they might say here in American football, like, you know, like throw a flag out on the play. We got to stop the, we got to yeah. stop this right now. So it wasn't a spiritual awakening. It was a total leveling of, every single time thinking that I had this, t this one, I've got this one, right. And then it was like, okay, you know, and I was reading Neville throughout. Oh. Well, from the third one, my husband, I was reading <laughs> they're Neville. Long books. Yeah. They're long books. Thank God. Cause they <laughs> saved, honestly, I was reading all through the night sometimes because there was so much agony about what, how did I end up here? And right. you know, I didn't know then about projection. I didn't know about, I knew about law of attraction and I knew that I had a lot of fear and stuff about, you know, I'm second best and how am I going to, you know, this is too good to be true and no one's really going to love me. So, you know, I just manifested an exact photocopy of what I was putting out. Wait, wait. So, kachunk, yeah. kachunk. Kachunk, kachunk. I was just wondering. <laughs> I thought that was appropriate. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So that's where, that's how I got into all of this. It started um, when I was probably in my twenties and I got a tumor then. And I thought, right, I'm going to use Louise Hay because my mum was into Louise Hay. So I was reading her and I cured myself of this tumor in six weeks. Wow. Um, so yeah, so it was like, but no surprise with all the relationship stress and absolute drama and chaos, my health of course got smashed by all that stuff. So, you know, but you know, now it's good for a laugh and, and I don't, you know, I can see everything was me pushed out. There's not this thing of needing. And this is so, another point that people often say, how am I going to forgive them for that? You don't have to forgive yeah. them. You've got to forgive you because yes. you didn't know any better. You that's didn't it. understand. You projected it. That's one of the weird parts of the 12 steps. I don't know if I ever agreed with where you've got to like bring everybody else into it. It's like, you know, yeah. really it's no. you. Like you got to forgive it's yourself. Really it's you. Yeah. Yeah. Forgive yourself. Yeah. Let yourself be an idiot yeah. or whatever you were. Let it, yeah. let it go. And that's, I think, And I agree so with important. you, Dan. I'm, I left 12 step fellowships quite, I went for 20 years and I left a long time ago because I don't believe I'm powerless over others. And I don't believe I'm powerless if right. I actually apply and use my own mind. And Another the first step. step in all the programs is I'm powerless over something. And I personally don't agree with that. Amen. I know the law of, I know the law of projection. I know the law of attraction. And I know that these laws projecting them out, using them consciously, you can influence people to help them, you know, heal an injury or that you hated them and they treated you badly and you project love and then it influences them to treat you better. All this stuff. I'm not powerless if I'm able to do that. So I had to leave 12 step fellowships because of that very reason. 
Um, I agree. They were very structured. It has its place. Yeah, it well, it does. It, and that's the thing is everyone's, everyone's in the location that they're at. They're in the, they're, they're coming from this, from where, where they're ready. And, and, yeah. I, and, and I think you and I are trying to paint with a broad brush as far as we want to make sure we're not limiting people. And we're certainly using uh, words that, that people can, can get behind and be comfortable with. But I mean, a lot yeah. of this, like you've said, you work through these, these patterns that we've had in our lives. And, <laughs> and we've, this, I mean, again, you and I are coming from places that I'm, I mean, I'm the same way. I mean, a lot of mistakes, a lot of trials and tribulations, a lot of, huh, okay, so I've tried all the things that don't work, you know, like now let's, yeah. let's, let's try something different, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, and it's amazing. And when you get hammered by something, when you get hammered by something repeatedly, you cannot escape that it's you. Like you can't yeah. keep saying, I just picked the wrong people. Like I finally understood projecting I'm second best and I'm not good enough has created me dating the same man in lots of different versions, you know? So I really had to, I couldn't escape myself anymore. And it took till I was, well, you know, I just turned 50 not long ago. So it took till my forties to get it. Let me ask you this, because I think you're you're hitting, I think, uh, you know, part three, basically. But this, I think, is an uh, enormously important part when, when we realize that we've been seeking the same thing over and over and over, and it finally dawns on us, mm. and, and we finally decide to make that different change. I mean, for me, it was always kind of, uh, and I talk about kind of the spiral where it's the difference between focusing on what I don't or what I currently don't have. Right. Mm, Or, mm. or oftentimes focusing on what I do have, what is actually working for me, what is going well. Yeah. And, and what can I kind of, what wave can I ride on right now? And if I'm having a, maybe a hard time with self-esteem or my self-love to go back to that a little bit. So what was it that caused you and, and how did you shift your thinking? I mean, obviously that had to have occurred like, right. I mean, you, yeah. How'd that go with you? Well, I spent a lot of time doing three to four hours a day of sitting in meditation and, you know, like I'd come home and I'd be devastated about the last breakup or something. And I'd be laying down in my room feeling, you know, like a big victim. And I thought, okay, if I understand, and then I just started studying the mechanics of, you know, people that get those dramatic bone crushing situations in relationship, they have repeated habitual thought patterns. Now I had to look at what are mine. So mine was my two top, my top two, I'm second best and I'm always going to be left and I'm not good enough. Top three. So I thought, okay, so if that's what I've got, I've got to learn to be first best in my own head. I've got to learn to be, I am good enough. And I've got to learn that, um, what was the other one? I've forgotten what the other one is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't writing them down either. I feel horrible. Um, I'm second stick- best is I'm first best. I'm not good enough is I am good enough. Yeah. And I'm going to be left is people hang around. There you go. You know? So I just thought that's all it is. And Neville talks a lot about I am statements. Anything you put after I am is what you become. Well, supposedly so thought, the okay. most profound way we can state ourselves. I mean, the power. Yeah. That, some say we were made in his image and likeness. And I think that's actually the, the quote they refer to as the I am part of that. Uh, that whole yes. Concept, so invoking so when you, when you know, okay, how do I change from what I don't want to what I want? You just put an I am statement in place and then you hammer it out until it becomes your dominant Okay, so, so let's back it up a hair because then maybe this is the, the, the right way for me to answer this question or ask this question. Um, when did you realize that your thoughts, your imagination, your energy, your whatever had power over your reality that, was, that actually was a factor in what you were experiencing? When, when did that – was there something that caused that to dawn on you? Well, I think it, it was in every relationship that I had – it was, I was getting better at it, but then my fears would take over and smash me. The fears would win, you know? So you knew so that already. You knew. I so knew it. I knew it probably at relationship number three, okay. which was the marriage, three yeah. out of five Not bad. Of, of the five. I You're knew then. 
Yeah. So I was getting better, but then my fears would still kick my, my ass. And then it was like, okay, let's do the self love again. Let's work on it again. Because I still at the back of my head thought my fears are going to win. I still couldn't let that go. That's why I recreated that five times. So it's like you, it's layers upon layers upon layers of fears that you're dealing with. And, and for me, the fears were like terror. They were a terror for me. It was like, no matter what I do, no matter how much law of attraction I do, no matter what I understand, I will never get rid of right. this one. <laughs> it's always in the back of your mind, right? Yeah, like screaming at you like, this yeah. is, this. you're not good enough, you're not this, you're not that. Yeah. And, and I, yeah. I think where a lot of the people that, you know, you, you get the messages in your comments section and I think a lot of these situations have to do with people that are still working through these changes and these transitions and understanding yeah. the parts of themselves that still need to develop and grow. I mean, I don't mm. think we're just stagnant creatures that are supposed to be able to just manifest, do, 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 you know, all the way through yeah. life. There's, there's this That's odd right. component to it called growth and development and all, you know, like where we change and become better mm. people, believe it or not, or worse, yeah. maybe, but I think most of us get better. Yeah. So I, yeah. And then sometimes you slip back a bit and yeah. you, know, you, get ha you get hammered in the head again. And I thought, right. geez, not this again. You well, I've, know? Been, I've been very fortunate in life where anytime I've ever thought too highly of myself, <laughs> life was very kind to remind me <laughs> that that horse I do not belong on. Like, you know, it just knocked me the hell off it. No worries, mate. Yeah. You know, just poof, exactly. done. Exactly. So I, yeah. uh, I, humble is for me the safest way to go. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah. Kills me yeah. in a great yes. way, you know? So again, I've, I've been in the same boat as you. It's I, and I, I want people to understand that are, that are listening, that they're, that's part of this development as well. And manifest, I, why isn't it happening? Why isn't it happening? Especially when, yeah. when it comes to a specific someone, there's some yeah. very key elements that we're talking about here that, we need to look at them. Am I, am I being controlling? Am I not being true to myself? Man, I've yeah. lost myself. That's what I typically mm. do is I, I'm yes dear, yeah. yes dear and yeah. whatever. Yeah. And, and I uh. forget that I actually have things that I enjoy and like exactly. and used exactly. to do. Yeah. So, and that's yeah. really a common mistake so many of us make. And right? I think as you do it in one relationship and then as soon as the relationship ends, you go, oh my God, I haven't done that for ages and I haven't done that. And then <laughs> yeah. you rebuild your life. Then yep, you meet yep. another person and right. then you slide back. Because it's fun to do it. <laughs> you know, I really, I enjoy that rebuilding my life over and mm. over. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> It's awesome a challenge yes oh yeah no it was too easy i was i got it i got this i got this i'm gonna, I'm gonna do but this you know a few what, times dan yeah this time around you know being with somebody you know who's wonderful for a while and now, awesome <laughs> yeah, and, yeah and isn't the the total center of everything i do um as you know because i go between sydney and london um I thought, okay, this, you know, this time around, because I have lots of time to myself where we're not together, where I'm actually in another country, um, or whether we are in the same country, I still go to bed, I do the same thing, whether he's there or not. And, and there are times where, you know, he's watching TV next to me and I'll put my headphones in. I say, look, I'm going to listen to a meditation. And I just do my love use to myself. So then I'm a much better person to be with. <laughs> um, that's a, a win-win right yeah it is because it's like i'm a much better i don't need you to make me feel better person i'm not saying i'm perfect there are times where i go oh you know what do i do with this and he looks at me like what you always do and it's like oh how did i go back to that <laughs> 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 so you still have your moments of you know uh, like you say you get humbled again and and i think yeah. but hey i know where to go I do this daily. I don't forget to do it because I know when I forget, this is, this is like um, black belt manifesting, right. keeping my chops up. I do this every day because I know where I've ended up by not doing it. It has smashed my whole world apart and I will not go back there. I'm quite happy to do three hours a day. <laughs> it's very easy to forget that spending time every day thinking out, thinking ahead, thinking forward, thinking of what I'd like to experience in the next few weeks or whatever. Yeah. Uh, it's very easy to stop 
doing that and get back into the habit of thinking about what's going on right now. What am I experiencing here? What, and when you do that again, it's like you've said before, it's a focus-based universe was well, uh, Hicks has said specifically, but yeah, it's a focus-based yeah. universe. So what we're putting our attention on, what we're thinking about is what we're asking for more of. So when you stop the practice of looking outward and from yeah. where the next adventure is, because even if you've manifested your specific person, now what? Do you want to take a vacation? Do we want to, like mm. you're doing travel to, um, you know, England or London four times a year or whatever. I mean, like mm. what, what's the next step? And then, you know, when I get out there, yeah. what are we going to do? What restaurant are we going to go to? So there's always, I think that growth and in, in expansion that we yeah. should be looking outward and onward uh, and enjoying that process, then stopping doing that, looking right now and effing things up. Pardon my Exactly. You know. Exactly. And it's, um, yeah, it's just a lifestyle of how do I make myself feel good today? How do I make myself feel good today? And you do not give that job to anybody else. It's your job. And for you to be good to be around and be emotionally attractive to be around because that's what it is we become emotionally very unattractive to be around absolutely and we re and we repulse people whatever version we've got going on with that yeah so it's like okay if i really really want to be in a good relationship my first thing is that i maintain myself so that when i'm around people i am not a burden to others whether right. it's my mum, whether it's my partner, whether whoever, you maintain yourself and you become emotionally mature that you're not needing other people to do the love for you. And that, I think, is the greatest freedom there is. And I, and I agree. I think it's a, there's a lot of people that have that thought behind them that when, when two halves meet together and make a whole and it's like, yeah. yeah. So you really want to be a couple holes that come together and just have a really <laughs> awesome experience. Like, yeah. and, and I think that's exactly. a, yeah, miss, a misnomer for a lot of people mm. out there. So definitely, uh, definitely. And there's a lot of people wandering around as a half. Yeah. You know, and, and, and like it, you, and I was too. I, I well, and if that, you're in that part of your just... life, if you're in that half part of your life, you're going to find another half and you're going to grow through this. So again, our audience, I think differs in range, differs in, you know, all sorts of stages where they're at. So maybe you're still in that half phase where you think yeah. I, I'm a half a person and I've got my perfect <laughs> half a person and yet we're not yeah. perfectly happy together for some strange reason. It's like, well, yeah, yeah. You're, you're missing your other half. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. It's um, not an uncommon one, as we know. But yes, there are things to do to get out of that state. Which so I is, think, thank God. I think after everything that we've talked about right now, then I think that really, this is the perfect time to bring up choosing a specific person. Like if, yep. if, if one, is that okay? I mean, I, I, th I really think, let's, let's hit that question first. I, yeah. I want your thoughts. I want your, like, mm. Because there's, there's going to be, I think, sides to that, I think, right? And yeah. maybe, no matter what, I think there's going to be sides to that. So is imagining a specific person, your five-minute version of that, what do you, what do you mm. think the rules are, if there are, or what's the, what are the understandings mm. that should underlay when you're trying to manifest a specific somebody? What do you think are things that maybe should be asked? Uh, well, I think you've got to ask yourself, okay, am I willing to – give love to this person or am I looking to take love from them? That's the first thing you've got to ask yourself. And if it is the second one where you're trying to take, you can work on that and flip that into, I'm going to learn to give love to them and I'm going to learn to attract a person from a place of giving rather than a place of, I just got to get my specific person because I need, um, because I think 9.5% of the people that want a specific person do come from need initially. 9.5? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like the, the number. It's a lot. Yes. Yes. <laughs> there might no. be half a person that's doing it. Right <laughs> Somewhere. Now. I know. So they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. So, yeah. So I think, you know, I mean, really, whether you want to be open to, you know, what Florence Scovel Shin says is the praying for the divine selection. If you're not happy with wanting to go for a specific person, you can go that route. If there's someone that you like and you want to go for that, do that too. Neither one is right or wrong. They're just different ways of going around the circle. Well, I think like you've said before, I think it really comes down to 
whatever you want to believe, whatever, uh, you know, beliefs or yeah. I think you said recently are thoughts that you just think over and over or Hicks and mm. thoughts that you think over and over and over, just basically beliefs. So whatever you're really in line with is go with it, you know, yeah. whatever it is, what choose one and feel strong enough about it to actually go mm. with it when you're going to have doubts and, and they're going to question, or you're going to question everything you're doing. Make sure that, yeah. you, that you're strong enough in that path to keep going mm. when the going gets tough. Yeah. And it does get tough when you're trying to attract a specific person because you do get frustrated, you get exasperated, you get exhausted, you get. Or you make um, the mistake of talking to friends about what you're yeah, trying to do and they tell you, yeah. what are you, an idiot? You know, like yeah. you're like, well, no, mm. no. Well, I actually stopped talking to friends and I just they, did what I wanted because amen. people were saying, you know, can't you just find someone in Australia? Right. Wouldn't well, that be easier? Yeah, it would have been easier, probably. Yeah, but who, who does want a challenge? I mean, again. Well, again. I just thought if I could, you know, when you have a desire for something, sometimes you can't. It's like you're, you're tortured by it or you learn from it. Okay, so. So that, which way are you going to go? That's exactly the situation with me, with my, my manifestation when it comes to this uh, situation. It's yeah. one of those things where I've tried, <laughs> I've tried every other thing. <laughs> And I, I have to yeah. see what the heck's on the other side of this door. I have yeah. to. And so yeah. that's it. I just made up my mind finally, got in line yeah. with it. And yeah. there you go. Boom. We'll see. When well, it happens, it well, happens. That's fine. Well, no wonder you and I have met then to discuss yes. this subject. It's like, it's like, you know, synchronicity, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, without a doubt, it's played an enormous part of my life. And, and I'm like you where I've had... Uh, a number of uh, fun relationships that have yep. allowed me the opportunity <laughs> to learn what I enjoy and don't enjoy uh, in life. <laughs> and uh, I like relationships for that well reason. Said. Yes, thank you very much. Hopefully and, yeah. that didn't involve any bondage mistresses or, nah, I you wish. know. That actually would have been, I, <laughs> would have been fun to sprinkle a little of that in there. I'm just saying. That's, I have issues too. I'm just like everybody else. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> well, I guess the people, at least the people listening, will get a good laugh out of it anyway. <laughs> I, I hope, or they're like, seriously, don't listen to this guy. He's <laughs> don't a little cray cray. To these two. Yeah. Well, it is. It is called the organic nuts. Right. Series, I know. So I love that. Luck. I love that. That'll become our when we, we're doing this. You know, at some point we're going to be doing this probably weekly or something crazy yeah. because it's so so solid. So yeah, the organic nuts. Yeah. I love that. I loved that when you. Yeah. Did. Yeah. Beautiful. So, yeah. okay, we talked about choosing a specific person and why you might not get the one that you were after. Now, let's flip that around to the, uh, the other side of that, where because you've accomplished this. Neville Goddard's accomplished this. I'm going mm. to, but I, I can't talk on it yet. You know, I'm yeah. Still a, still a baby or whatever. You will. You uh, will. Yes. Yes. So, please I'll be share inter- with- And I'll be interviewing you about that. Right? Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> She, hopefully she's in this with me you know when i'm doing it that'd just be cool just to have you meet but anyway anyway she's yeah anyway anyway yeah. <laughs> yes you can see how she affects me it's funny as heck anyway um it's great. Yeah, it's great. I, this person's the greatest um but yeah so when it does work uh how's that go i mean how did, how did that work out i mean we talked about it some on the last one i still think this relative to where we're at in this discussion i think this is a really good place to just kind of do a quickie yeah. on the uh when you finally figured it out and, and boom yeah this guy the well, current guy you know i went through a phase where i just thought you know what this is so damn hard i'm so exhausted i'm actually beyond even wanting this anymore i'm sick of it i'm totally so <laughs> over this I, 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 it's it's fried every circuit in my head yeah, you're speaking. You're speaking seriously yeah. to a place I was really at recently yeah. too, and it's just like, uh, yeah. whatever. I don't even you care just, anymore. Yeah, you just don't care anymore, no. and that's what happens. No. And I think that's a good place to get to because you let go of all the resistance and all the stress, and you just go to bed and you sleep and you just go, whatever. I think um, we finally got out of our own way. We spent yeah. how long putting energy towards relationships, uh, only know. to finally shut ourselves up long enough so it could happen yeah, yeah. That, i it, mean that was me is. for me it was like i i don't have it it's not here yet it was like yeah. just coming to the conclusion of knowing that it's happening it's not going to happen i freaking immediately man come on just yeah. chill and give it give it a little time to go through the i steps. know and yeah I, that's and I that, think the hard part it is it's internally the hard part um 
But I think when you get to the place where you've let it go as best, you know, where you just hit the wall, it's not, you've said, oh, okay, I'm going to let it go. You've yeah. hit the wall and yeah. bounced off. Like remember uh-huh. that cartoon with the road runner and the uh-huh. acne truck? Uh-huh. Like Absolutely. That. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Just painted a thing on the rock and you just blammo yeah. and done. Boing. Yep. Yeah. You just, and it knocks you out for weeks. Yes. Well, that's, I think when you get to that point, um, your brain just, it's like it, sh- it shuts off and you can then finally have a rest. And then it's like, you've, well, it's like a forced surrender from exhaustion. So it's happened because you've just put so much energy and it hasn't happened yet. So you just, it's like your head just pops well, off. Like you said, you're emotionally <laughs> exhausted. You're, you're energetically, yeah. I think really exhausted. You've, You've yeah. expended so much of your, your, you know, your energy, your key, your whatever you want to achieve, yeah. whatever you, whatever, whatever you call it. Like, it doesn't yeah. matter. You, your energy levels are, you're sleepy, you're tired and you're just like, I'm done. I don't care. Yeah. You don't and care then, anymore. Now, what, what was there? Um, was there a miraculous point when you finally just threw up your hands and then all of a sudden he's calling you or, you know, on the tele, you know? Um, I think it kind of happened that, um, I went to London to do a course and I thought, well, if we see each other, we do. So we caught up and then I was there, I think six weeks or something for, yeah, for that first time. And I just thought, you know what, I'll just go to France and see my family. But we caught up and we had a, we had a good time and, you know, we were just, I thought I'm not talking about anything. I don't want to bring in, you know, cause it's that thing. And women are chronic for this. Oh, we, can we just talk about this? Oh, and let's yeah, go yeah. over it one more time. Talk that it never, to helps. Death. Yeah, never no, helps. No, not with so a guy anyway. Not with a guy. And you know yeah. what? I think men have got that right. I just thought, you know what? It's no point reinfecting yourself with all the problems. Yes. You know about the law of attraction. Just go there. Enjoy yeah. this person for the afternoon. Go have a cup of coffee, go have a meal, see a bit of London. So I just took it like that because I had, I had fried every brain cell I had about it. So I just let it go. And then we just started to have a good time, you know, now just I, now as two I, people. I haven't followed you as, or watched as many of your videos as I'd like to have. Let's put it that way. Um, but in the case with him, how long had you known him prior to you finally, this, this, this uh, date, we're talking, this time in London? About four years. Okay. As, and you were just but, friends but thing, or? Well, what? we were just, well, we were, you know, cause we're in other, like in different yeah. countries. So yeah. you can't, you can only spend time talking. Connecting. That's more than a walkabout, I think. Right. Yeah. When you, when yeah. you have to walk that far. That's, exactly. that's a little far, yeah. So yeah, you're developing friendship. You're developing talking about interests. You're developing, and it, you know, you can't. There's no physical contact. So in a way, you have to develop other things. So, right. which was good, and and it look what I learned in that four years was probably one of the hardest learning curves in terms of getting you know responsible for me and my emotions and then what I put out. So this is total selfishness on my part, but um, I'm, I'm, I think four and a half ish right now. Yeah. Oddly, oh, well, there you ironically. Go. <laughs> and uh, what, where I'm just curious because of where mine has relative years, where was the point when uh, within this four year mark where you were like, yeah, there's something about this person. Like I just, uh, I don't know what it is. No, but it, was, I, I, it was in the first year. Yeah. Me too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It was very early on. And then it was just yeah. like every, everyone I met that was telling me I'm an idiot. They're like, no, you'll meet this person and you'll just know. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that's totally what happened though. That, yeah. why, is that, why are you discounting what mm. my crazy ass experience is? Because, exactly. I, because it you, doesn't meet your mold. Yep. And sometimes you just get a thing with someone. You're just drawn to them. and. Yeah. You know, and, and look, I mean, I think, look at what I've learned by, you know, it was a really hard time. And I know there's a few of my viewers who are not going to like this, Uh but they don't, they don't like me saying that it's four years and they've complained to me about, you shouldn't say that because it's actually discouraging for the rest of us. But But I think the thing is closer to reality. That's closer to my story. Oh my God. For me, the thing, like, yeah. I don't know about you. I, I, I'm curious what you think on this. This is perfect. Uh, I, if I look back on it, would I do it again as a question I've asked myself many, many, many times, would I do yeah. this again? And my answer every single time has been yes. Like yeah? I, just, I, I, 
this I've never felt like this before. So I, in wow. my case, maybe is different in that regard. I don't know, but that's it's, good to know. It, it was we easy it for me. Oh God, yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And the thing is, you're not hanging around thinking, "I'm waiting for four years." No. You're, you're you're doing other things in your life. Um, you I think those are things with that... the person as a friend. So it's not as if it's like this. Like it, the, the desire grows over time. Absolutely. And for me, it mm. was like, I think when I look at what I've been doing since it's happened, one, and who I've become, I'll be totally honest. And that's why the comment was funny earlier. Um, when I first met her, I used to smoke cigarettes quite a bit, actually. And yeah. about six months into it, I had this like vision of, she has a, a son, and I had this vision of, of seeing him graduating school you know, yep. and, and being on oxygen and literally it was that oh, and, a, and a couple wow. other interesting synchronicities that happened that made it possible for me to finally stop. And it's been, uh, mm. I think it was three years back in November, um, since I stopped. So it, wow. again, I look back at the things that I've experienced because of this relationship. Mm. I am nothing like I was four years ago. I'm a far better man than mm. I was prior. And yep. it makes me think that it's not four years it's growth yeah. like i wasn't yeah. ready man four years ago i was not ready for where yeah. i'm at right now and i i i think when people think that it's <sighs> discouraging they need to maybe flip that around a little bit and go well mm. maybe maybe i've gotten a lot of things like did you get any positives out of this did, did you mm. did you grow did you develop i don't know what, what, what are your what are your thoughts well and the thing is when it's taken you that long you know, it's not just about manifesting a relationship. It's manifesting an income to be able to travel back and forth. It's actually believing that you can live in two countries. It's about how can I be here for my mum and also yep. um, enjoy a relationship overseas and still be able to scoot over to France and see my family. Like for me, the relationship was only one component of all these different things. So everything's fallen into place over that time, not yep. just that component. You had a lot of moving so, parts, basically. A lot of things had to come together for that parts. to happen. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. So, and that took hours worth of mental focus to deliver that end result. So I savor the fruits of my labor more so than if it had taken a month. So let me ask you this. <laughs> yeah, and I uh, completely, yeah. let me ask you this. Now, do you think, I think one of the things that tends to speed up these processes is that actually that, that inward reflection um, that mm. looking at what is it that I have to learn from this experience? Like, I don't believe anything yeah. happens to us by accident, right? If our thoughts are creating our realities, then mm. where we're currently at these roadblocks that we perceive mm. are there mm. for us to mm. help us maybe figure out what is it that, that I need, or am I doing wrong or, what do I really yeah. want from a relationship? Am I ready yeah. to give back and be equal on that? Like, I think exactly. there's a lot of good questions to ask. There is. And, and, you know, Dan, often people say, oh, you know, things happen for a reason. It's not like that. Th the reason things happen is because of what you think, feel and believe and project out all the time. It's not yeah. just this random thing that it happens for a reason, like la la land out there. It's not like that. It's all, all, all you. Yeah, All we're time. the reason. We are the reason we are, it happens. We are the reason. One hundred percent. Yes. Yes. Photocopy. Chung chung. Ch chunk chunk. Yes. <laughs> I was there with you on that. Yeah. So it's there's so many layers to this, and and boy, when you think, okay, I just want to manifest a specific person, you don't realize the journey you're going to go on, and it, it's you drop through so many levels of yourself in the process of learning how to do that. And also people have this thing, manifesting a specific person is hard. It's actually not. It's not. We right, think that's right. a belief that you got to well, let go of. If you believe it's hard. hard, it will be first off. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And that's where most people start. And that's, that's fair enough. And that's what I think is the deal is I'll tell you what we, we here's the thing. People that aren't looking to manifest a specific someone aren't finding our videos, your videos, our videos, right? People that have found the specific someone, some of them maybe are watching these because it's reminiscent, but for the most part, it's the people that are in that process of doing it. And I think yeah. we get a lot of those, the people that truly are frustrated and I get it. And that's, I guess mm. why I thought it was a good idea to kind of spend time around that because you and I yeah. spent years working through yeah. our frustrations, through 
Um, mm. and I think in both our cases, it was something we just felt and we kind of had to do it to a degree, whatever, yeah. like it was just leading us onward. And, and so yeah. there are times maybe where that specific someone's not right, but for the times where it is, for the times mm. where you're in unison, you've talked, you guys, it, there's just some mm. thing that's keeping it from happening. <laughs> And these are the ones that I don't know if in my mind, it was worth it. It was worth it to yeah. find that specific someone that I'm going to spend a lot of years with. And, and that that's cool. That's like, that's, mm. that's the point I think in my mind. And I think I'm finally ready. Yeah. Frankly, it's been a lot of yeah. years. Took me, yeah. Took me time. Yeah. And it, it, it makes you um, unravel every negative belief you have about yourself in terms of, worthiness deserving that you that you're not important that you don't matter that you're not lovable that you're not wanted all those deep dark beliefs that you hold it they will come to the surface if you have a specific person in mind you will be looking at every single one of your fears oh, and yeah. dark stuff around Absolutely. those particular thing yes. beliefs right mm. so really is that a bad thing because if you deal with those it then affects your work in a positive way it affects your money it affects your it, it yeah. does. It affects your thinking because you start focusing on the, and this kind of was with me too, is like, I, I need to make more money just period, just for the fact that I've been taking care of myself long enough. Now it's time to expand this outward and outward. So yeah, exactly. Mm. Even just that was one component amongst like stop smoking. I stopped, you know, uh, yep. I, I, I've just started making a lot of differences kind of where the YouTube thing really started mm. and spun out for me it was like, okay, this is a way I can take advantage yep. of some of my background and what I love doing and, and, and maybe make a difference in the world, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, for I think sure. and I think that's part of what I've noticed at least from a lot of the people that have become teachers or are teachers. And I think that's just anybody that's trying to disseminate information. So I, I use teachers loosely, but mm. um, I think when it comes to people that have gone down this path where they try to spend time sort of helping others understand it, I think we end up kind of making a number of extra mistakes because you really need to understand all the different aspects of it. Mm. And, and so I've, so I've noticed that at times where it's just like, well, we keep repeating mistakes. I've done it many times. You did it <laughs> a few times, possibly just a few, nah, psh, you know, once or twice. Um, but I think that is actually part of what has made it easier for us to speak on this matter. And I think that's yeah. why you and I find great joy also in sharing this. Like if we, we do, change, cause you if, know, go ahead. Yeah. Well, you no. know how hard it is and how much it oh, kicks Lord. people's ass. Yes. 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 Yeah. That's yeah. painful. And I think if both you and I are probably similar in that, if we can help even just one or two or three, whatever people like, <sighs> ah, it just feels good to know that, you know, it made a difference because I've been through, mm. you've been through, we've both mm. been through a lot. And uh, <laughs> we have. It, it's nice. It's nice to be able to speak about this. And yeah, and, and, and it, it does get easier, people. That's the coolest part. Like, um, it, it gets mm. way easier. Um, it does. You, you do kind of have a darkest night of the soul sort of experience at some point, frankly. You do. You Whether do. you've gone through it already or it's coming. Mm. Or you're in the middle of it. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. Because so a I lot think... of people get on YouTube and search, you know, and end up on your channel or my channel while they're in the middle of it. Yep. That's why they're on YouTube. Right? That's Before my point. YouTube. That's why they're searching yeah. for what we're talking about, isn't it? Yeah. Because they've already gotten it or they don't care. It, like they're in the middle of it. And really, it's yeah. probably the growing pains. It's probably the, why isn't this working? I've tried all the things that are out there. What am I doing wrong? And even just yeah. that whole act of questioning is sort of not helping, yeah. you know, it's no. like, it's, it's a fun little spiral that we get ourselves stuck in. And when we can yeah. finally break it out, um, it's so empowering when you finally start to see it. So I think that's uh, like the most important thing for people to realize. Definitely. Definitely. And I think, um, you know, I looked back and I didn't have YouTube to get on and get help from. I was just reading books cause I didn't know where else to go at the time. There was, I mean, the internet was there, but I probably wasn't using it much. Right. So and you had your friend yeah. that you talked about. So you did, you did yeah. have your, you know, your, your, close... I did. I've got my, my one friend and, and, um, you know, we'd break down the mechanics of things and read Neville and read Abraham Hicks. And then we got, you know, got attached to YouTube and then it accelerates your learning. So I agree. Yeah. I... Thank God for people that wrote books prior to, you know, 1990, because <laughs> yeah. you've been screwed without it. 
Yeah, and you, you, there's so many topics out there too, and some of them have been buried or borrowed. I mean, either way, but there's, it's a lot of fun when you go out there and you kind of try to start researching and you, and you connect with that, I almost want to say your higher guidance, really. But when yeah. it leads you to that next book and you pick it up mm. and you start reading it, mm. you're like, oh my God, this is exactly what I needed right now. Yeah. I think, I think for a lot of our friends that are out there right now that are, that are like, what do I do next? I mean, I, I know the imagination stuff's supposed to work, but how long? And, and there's, I think mm. sometimes it's good to open up the question, like what, what more is there for me to see? Let's, let's see. Exactly. Let's see what else the universe has to show me. Mm. You know, it would be great at some point uh, and you probably would know how to do this because of your background if we could do a show like this and then get people to call in absolutely we could totally pull that off and i think even yeah? with the yeah absolutely uh we mm. i mean if we get serious about it we'd probably get like an 800 number or something to make it easier for people okay. to do uh but we could yeah, patch that through a board yeah absolutely uh, that's what i'm saying i, I could see this getting to a point <laughs> where we're doing like a weekly show and i think that'd be pretty cool yeah it'd be fun yeah It'd yeah. be fun. Yeah, I enjoy did. my time with you. It's fun. I do as well. And we've done, I think, almost an hour too. So we've, uh, yeah. I think yeah, we've we covered a lot, a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Um, now, I'm not 100%. I know I'm recording. I just swear I should double check. Yeah, right I'm now. recording too. So yeah, you don't worry. Either way, we're fine. Yeah, I'm supposedly still recording. Cool. Um, yeah, so the, I'm, I'm curious to see how this comes out on my side. Uh, I'll chop it up some. If you want to give me your... Um, version because i don't know if your version sounds different than mine it probably will um okay. but whatever i chop mine up as i'll be happy to chop the the, the master one and we can do what we did last time it's, you know, excellent thanks for um, doing that because i don't no i'm not non-techie in that department so it's great yeah and that was uh, we got an hour and a half i mean it was uh, <gasps> that was fun that was yeah and, and there was a lot of things i think to work through too and like i said i wanted to get the sound a little better you you sort of have clarified that i haven't heard it uh, other than a couple tests but i'm hoping it's better yeah no it sounds perfectly clear right volume everything and i tried really hard not to cut you off a whole bunch this time because that was the one thing i got from the last time i was watching <laughs> the others it's like you kept interrupting her, dude, all over the place. I'm like, oh, it doesn't matter. We were yeah. like, it was, you know, sometimes you just get overexcited and you'd yes. like, you just. <laughs> well, and I, I think part of it for me too was like, I wanted to like earn my weight with you, you know, like, yeah. I, yeah, but I know things too, you know, and it's yeah. like, but yeah. I think, um, I, yeah, you're just, like I said, you're just so awesome. And I've had a lot of people comment. Um, well, when I say a lot, like I, of, of the people that have commented, a lot yeah. of them um, are very fond of you. And actually, the, the funniest thing, I have to share this again. I don't know if I said this last time or not. I never have ever gotten any response by sharing on Reddit until I finally shared your name. Then all of a sudden, this guy starts asking me a question out of the blue. And I'm like, what? Reddit? Really? Never have anyone ever found wow. me there. Wow. So um, your name carries some weight there on you. And, wow, uh, that's nice, Dan. Yeah. Well, we're, I'm, we're going together. I'm taking you with me. I'd like that. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy the ride. You and I are going to the tippy top, girl. I'm taking you. So yeah, we fun. are. Yes. Minus the cigarettes and the coffee. Right? It'll be cheaper that way, frankly, the glass, overhead. A glass of red moment. wine, though. I'm oh, going to take a glass of red good. wine. Yeah, I mean, it's nighttime. It was after five o'clock here, so it was perfectly okay. Yeah. For, I know you saw me sipping my wine when I was off camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this was fun. Good I enjoyed one. it. Good one. Yes. Well, good show. Good show. Good. I appreciate it. And we'll, um, we'll, uh, we'll do this again, obviously. I'm thinking towards yeah. the end of the month is probably a good time to shoot for. And uh, when you yeah. get back to London and all that, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. But I should... Well, you know what? Yeah. I leave for London Tuesday. But just, okay. you know, in the meantime, look at your calendar, shoot me through some dates. And then as soon as I get to London, I can go, okay, yep, we'll lock that in. Nice, nice. And yeah. this kind of thing works, right? Where it's a, a Saturday, yeah. Sunday. Okay, cool. Because yeah, when you're in Australia, it's a, obviously you're in the future and yeah. it's a little strange. But uh, yeah. yeah, London was But also you, you work during the week, so weekends are fine yeah. for me. Cool, yeah. perfect. Yeah. All right, awesome. Yeah, I'll definitely shoot out something cool. like maybe uh, like a month away and uh, the next yeah. weekend that follows. And I will probably be chopping this up tomorrow is my plan. Uh, right. So don't be surprised if you get a little uh, little uh, thing from my um, my Excellent. Dropbox, and we'll we'll go from there. Yeah, I love I love looking back at them. They make me because when you're in it, you're in it. But when yeah. you watch it, some parts are so damn funny. Oh, some parts for me were painful too. It was just like <laughs> really, dude. 
Oh, but anyway, I mean, that's part of it too. Right? And I think we're getting more and more comfortable yeah. with each other. So this is, uh, is going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to Dan, it. Dan, I've yes. spent my entire life cutting people off. So don't worry. Nice, right? <laughs> I mean, what was my... <laughs> Yeah, no, you're I the best. Uh, do it all the time. So honestly, don't worry about it. Yeah. That's part of our growth, right? We're not exactly. just learning how to manifest people, <laughs> apparently. We've got this whole YouTube broadcasting. YouTube. Thing. Exactly. Whatever. Exactly. I actually did watch half of your one that you uploaded this morning. So oh, I cool. go watch the other half. Yeah. That was, I mean, that was uh, again, kind of to try to deal with these different issues that we sort of bump into because I, I just think it's such a big question for people. And it's like, well, so and so says I can, and so and so says I can't. Yeah. And it's like, you totally can, but there's, but there's a, but there's kind of a, like, you need to do yeah. a few questions and ask yourself a few yeah. things. And are you being honest with yourself and this person? And um, yeah. because I think if all things, if they're interested and you're interested and there's just some stuff that's keeping you apart, Oh my mm. God, that's the perfect place for this. That's easy sauce, you know, but exactly. But yeah. If you're, if you were mean to someone, horrible to someone and you're trying to get them back, uh, yeah. you know, I don't think you should get them back. That's not fair. Yeah. Right. Like that person yeah. deserves to, to yeah. be happy. So I think there's a lot of factors that come into play with that. Yeah. So to be you. continued. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. <laughs> Anya. We'll Pleasure, talk soon. Dan. Oh, absolutely. We yes. We will. Okay. You're the, you have you're the a best. good, you're in your Saturday night, aren't you? Saturday I am. Night. I've still got, I've still got yeah. a Sunday left in this weekend. Woohoo. <laughs> nice have a great night okay. thank you all righty bye-bye talk to you from london ciao yes cheers bye